So if you saw my retrospective on the Black MacBook, then you'll know that while well, the original Black MacBook did not sell that well, its white counterpart sold very well. And even though this, this line of computers were released was current from between 2006 and 2009, which was, you know, I was born in 08. I still have fond memories with these. So I thought I would cover it. So this model right here, just to be more specific, this is a mid-2009 MacBook. So this is the last MacBook of this type anyway. And this is running OS 10 Yosemite. This has four gigabytes of RAM. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and take a tour of this computer. So looking at the ports, this computer, as you can tell right here, it has MagSafe, Ethernet, and Firewire, two USB-A ports, a headphone and microphone jack, a Kensington lock. Then right here, it has an infrared port, as well as light to let you know where your computer is on. And on this side, you have your optical drive. And here you have the battery, which if you take a coin and unscrew it, you can get access to the battery, hard drive, and RAM really easily, which is a nice feature. You press this indicator right here to let you know how much battery percentage you have. But I mean, and this is one of the last Macs to have an infrared receiver, believe it or not, since that was that was a mainstream method of wireless communication that died out as Wi-Fi took over. Now getting on to actually using this thing, the thing which is because it's a 2009, this thing can run officially up to OS 10 El Capitan. However, this is running Yosemite, so it's one year older than that, and Yosemite is from 2014. So it's obviously not the most up-to-date to software. However, you can get these, I believe you can get these even running the latest Mac OS Sonoma with special, special patches. They're probably not very well, and I don't have an SSD in this thing yet, because you can put them in there, but this currently just has a stock hard drive, so I'm just going to leave this as is. But let's get into actually using this thing, so... One notable feature is that you have, there is a dashboard key, which doesn't work on OS 10 Yosemite apparently. What you can use this for is triggering the dashboard, which a lot of these don't work anymore, but this is present up until Mac OS Catalina. You can have all widgets that you can add to your dashboard. And this I personally prefer much more to the current Mac OS desktop widgets. As you can tell, you even get a special calculator, which is still skeuomorphic, believe it or not. And even remains skeuomorphic in macOS Mojave. As this was OS 10 Yosemite was, believe it or not, the first flat macOS. And it's the only macOS to really have a design like this because it has this, it still has a skeuomorphic spinning loop. And skeuomorphism, for those who don't know, is just a way of making the UI look more layable to real life objects. Now, getting into actually using this computer, this computer. I mean, it's obviously not a usable computer for daily tasks anymore. I mean, it can do basic things like word processing. If I open up pages here, this thing has actually a really good keyboard, although that's very typical for Macs to exclude the butterfly keyboard. Man, OS 10 Yosemite, I can't get over how good this UI looks. Apple software design which was designed by Johnny uh, was truly the peak of Apple's software design there we go and even taking a look at just classic things like the wallpapers which as you can tell look just very relatable to real life nature and this is such and these are such scenic wallpapers like this is Yosemite this is just pictures of Yosemite National Park and what they're still kind of carrying this over Mac OS Sonoma, though it's not quite the same as they do more animated stuff now. Galaxy, Rolling Waves, this is a really nice one. 
Oh, Mountain Range is a pretty one. Foggy Forest, Forest and Mist. This is actually one of my favorite Mac OS wallpapers. Sky. Eagle and Waterfall, this is a really good one. Elephant, this is another good one. Lion, always a classic. This shapes, even like the art is so much better on these versions. And you of course get your classic Mac OS wallpaper, like the default Jaguar wallpaper. And this cool tile design. Like you just get so many options with OS 10 Yosemite. As this is truly one of some of the peak of Apple's is UI design. And this computer, believe it or not, is actually okay when it comes to web browsing as I'm on OS 10 Yosemite where last support Chrome version is from 2021, which is three years old as making this video. So look, there's a skeuomorphic scrolling wheel. But as you can tell, this is not a bad computer and this might be make an okay backup computer. Although I still have far newer Macs that I can use as a backup computer if I really need to. Like browse going to Apple's website is really nice on this, or should work well on this computer. Yeah, as you can tell, this is actually not bad. This is still not a bad web browsing experience. And now how is this exactly nostalgic for me, even though this computer was from before my time? Well, my first computer was actually a, a mid 2009 MacBook, just like this one that ran Mac OS 10 Developer. It was a really fun computer for me to use. I got that for my eighth birthday back in 2016. I still had a up until last April of 2023 when it broke. So as a result, I no longer have it with me. So I got this replacement off of eBay. But that was still a very nice computer for me to have. And believe it or not, one of my teachers and one of my student teachers actually had these computers back when I was in elementary school. So as a result, this computer still gives me tons of nostalgia to use. And that is tr just truly my story with this white original white macbook and did you ever own one of these back in the day please comment that down below as always thank you all for watching this video i'm the itunes fanboy and as always peace out